Hello and welcome back to another video with Average Guys Garage. Today we're going to unbox and check out the Launch Sea Reader 4001. It's an OBD2 scanner. Your product functions. Dynamic data streams. They have a couple different models. They have a 4001, 5001, 6001, and a 6011. Each two different types of things. So right out of the package, there is a protective screen um, film protecting the screen. And in here, we have a USB to micro USB. This is where you can connect here. And you can connect it to your computer and get download updates from their website. And then this is the OBD2 connector right here. So it has a little cover to keep it clean when not in use. And let's uh, open up and see how long this cable is. The cable seems to be about three and a half to four feet long, so that's very nice. Um, I've seen some dongles that just hang off of there real short, about six inches, and they're hard to work with. So let's get this over on to the Toyota and see what it tells us about what's going on. I think there are some emission issues, cat, catalytic converter type thing. So let's see what's going on over there. All right, I plugged in the OBD2 to the port started up the car so you have an engine check light right there and there's four options on here we have diagnose code lookup tool setup and help and then we have navigation buttons enter and go back so let's just go and look at the tool setup first press enter and you can choose a language and unit of measure. So I believe it already comes obviously in English. Unit of measure is metric or imperial. So let's leave it on metric for now. Go back, back, and let's hit the diagnose. All right, it's running through some tests. It already has a bunch of fail, fail, fail. Let's see what's going on. All right, so DTCs in this ECU is one. Readiness completed. Data stream supported 19. I'll hit enter. And I'll read the codes. Catalytic system efficiency is below threshold bank one and I have that it's a P0420 okay so let's go back
and let's look at IM readiness. Since the OTCs were cleared, since the DTCs were cleared, so the misfire monitor is okay, the fuel system is okay, component monitor is okay, so the different monitors are okay. The EVAP system is okay, oxygen sensor is okay, so it's, it's telling like um, the inspector, you know, are all these systems okay and ready to do the tests. So let me go back and we'll do data stream. And now we have view all items, select items, or view graphic items. So let's do a, first let's just view all items. Getting supported data. Okay, fuel system status, calculated load value, engine coolant temperature. Let's go back one. Short term fuel trim, bank one, engine RPM, ignition timing. Oxygen sensor output voltage. Right, let's go back and let's look at view graphic items. Going down the list. Let's look at the oxygen sensor output. So now it's graphing. My oxygen sensor output. All right, let's go back. You can also go to look at your vehicle information. The VIN number is not supported on this item. So we do have just the one issue with the Corolla, the 0420, catalytic system efficiency below threshold. So all in all, it's a nice little tool, it's very lightweight, has a nice um, feel to the back of it, made in China. I think the price point on this is about $30 to $9, $40. Uh, full color screen is nice and you can reset codes and go back here are you want, sure you want to exit the diagnostic function yes so now let's do a DTC lookup P zero Four two zero. Well, that doesn't tell much. Thought that would give more information. So that's the same information we got earlier when we read the codes.
All right, so there it is. That is the Sea Reader 4001. Um, it does what your standard reader does. It, although it does have a nice uh, screen and it does do the graphing for you. Not a lot of them at this price range do the, do the graphing. So thanks for watching.